wise many minds. Hello there, all you wise many minds, and welcome to a new wonderful learning adventure exploring the subject of math. Sammy and Star say hello to our wise many minds guests. Hi, I'm Sammy. Hello, I am Star. Join us as we continue learning all about numbers and how we can work with them to solve problems and get answers. Fantastic! There is so much to cover in this lesson, so let's get started. Okay, I want to work with numbers to solve problems. I hope I can work with numbers to solve problems too. Oh, don't worry, Star. You'll learn how to solve problems in this lesson. Now all you wise mini-minds listen very carefully. In the first part of our math lesson, we will all learn about adding numbers. Adding numbers? What's that? What is adding numbers, Professor? Adding numbers is very simple. For example, one and one is... One. No, Sammy. I don't think that is the right answer. Well, Star, one and one is two. Or I should say one plus one equal to two. Oh, I understand now. One number plus one number equals two numbers. Yes, I understand too, Professor. Wonderful. We are all getting off to a great start. So now, does anyone know what two plus two is? I know two plus two equal to four. Correct star. And does anyone know what four plus four is? Yes, I know. Four plus four equals to eight. Right you are, Sammy. Now star and Sammy. Let us help all our wise mini minds friends out there learn how to add more numbers with a little song. Now let us begin. One plus one equal what? Two. And two plus two equal what? Four. And four plus four equal what? Eight. And eight plus eight equal what? Sixteen. Yes, all you wise mini minds, you are all correct. And we can continue to add any and many combinations of numbers to get the correct answer to the math problem, such as 1 plus 2 equal to 3, or 2 plus 1 equal to 3. But did you know that we can also get rid of or subtract these same numbers, such as 3 minus 2 equal to 1, or 3 minus 1 equal to 2? So now let's continue our song with numbers. One minus one equal what? Zero. Two minus one equal what? One. Three minus two equal what? One. Four minus two equal what? Two. Splendid! You are all doing wonderfully well. As of now, we have all learned how to add and subtract numbers together. But now we are going to try something different. Does anyone know what 1 plus 1 plus 1 is? Let me see now. 1 plus 1 plus 1 equals to 3. Yes, Sammy, you are correct. But does anyone know what 3 minus 1 minus 1 equal to what? No, I don't know what 3 minus 1 minus 1 equal to what. I don't know too, Professor. Well then... Let me try to illustrate the problem to make it easier to solve. Okay, Professor, because I need help solving this problem. Yes, Professor, this is too much for my brain. All right then, listen carefully. Let's say we back up a little. Let us say we had one apple and one apple and one apple. Or we could say we had one apple plus one apple plus one apple. How many apples do we have? Oh, I know now. One apple plus one apple plus one apple equals three apples. Right, you are star. Oh, thank you, professor. Which brings us back to solving our last math problem. What is three apples minus one apple minus one apple equal? Three apples minus one apple minus one apple equals one apple. Yes, Sammy, you are correct. And does anyone know what we call this type of math problem? No, I know. An illustrative problem? Well, Sammy, to be more specific, we would call this a word problem. Oh, a word problem. That makes sense. I understand now, Professor. And now for all you wise mini minds that have been with us on this math adventure, I have a little secret surprise for all of you. Do all of you know that there is a very important, invisible, but magical number that has already been mentioned so far, revealing itself? but then quickly disappearing into thin air.
Can anyone tell me what that invisible number is? Can you tell me star? Nope. How about you, Sammy? Can you recall what that number might be? Yes, I think I can, Professor. That number is zero. Your memory serves your wise mini-mind well, Sammy. Zero is the invisible magic number. So now let's see how zero works with all the other numbers. Now let us begin. Zero plus zero equal to what? Zero. Zero plus one equal to what? One. Zero plus one plus zero equal to what? One. Zero plus one plus zero plus one equal to what? Two. Zero minus zero equal to what? Zero. One minus zero equal to what? Two. One minus one equal to what? Zero. One minus one minus zero equal to what? Zero. Wonderful. Wise mini minds? You now see the importance of having the number zero in solving math problems. Why? Without zero, we could not count to ten or one hundred or one thousand or one million or even one billion. So that concludes our lesson on the adventure of math solving problems. Now let's all sing along with Sammy and Star the adding and subtracting song. And remember to join us in future episode adventures and watch all past episodes to keep your wise mini minds wise. Adding and subtracting. One is two, two plus two is four.